Greetings gamers, Agent SN, and the Wii U was a great console. It had some great games, even though most of them are on the Nintendo Switch. And that's because the Wii U did not sell well due to its poor marketing choices and stuff. So Nintendo decided to make enhanced versions of, of, of lots of the big hits like Pikmin 3, Mario Kart Deluxe, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario 3D World, etc. And they've been basically porting these games to the Switch with new content. However, there's still some games that are left behind. So today, I thought about doing an interesting video about what uh, about how likely some of the remaining ones are. But I'm also going to give you guys my personal want score that shows how much I want them. Now, now these are, are basically, I mean, they're not like all the big hits, but they're like, but they're pretty much mm -hmm. like most of the big hits on the Wii U that that, that haven't been ported to the Switch yet. So today I'm gonna talk about these games that really that well I'm gonna talk about how likely they are and how much I want them. So without further ado, that's a, that's a goal. All right, now starting off is Xenoblade Chronicles X, and is this gonna happen? Maybe. And why? Well, it's because Monolith Soft has stated before that they want to port this game, but but it but but it's too expensive for a port, and that's why it's it it, it it's kind of likely. I mean, I guess how I could describe it is maybe. Will it happen? Maybe. Yeah, I personally think it's about a fifty fifty chance because because Monolith Soft has said they want to port it. But they don't have the money to, and uh, and plus right now they're also assisting with Breath of the Wild too. And keep in mind that they also designed the engine and the graphics for Breath of the Wild and, and its upcoming sequel as well. They also assist with Nintendo for that and stuff. And of course, Nintendo owns Monolith Soft, so yeah. So I can see this as a maybe. I mean, I really want it because I love Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, and I would definitely like to try out this game because it's the only Xenoblade game I've ever played before. And, but, better reason is because it's most likely not going to happen at the earliest until 2023, if it does happen. Because we just had Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition last year, and that's, and that's a remake of the original Xenoblade Chronicles. So I feel like they're going to probably wait at least two and a half years because Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which is a remake of the original Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, and later the new 3DS, that released two and a half years about after Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is an original game for the Switch, and that released in December 2017. So I can see this maybe happening, I mean, if it's going to happen, probably not until 2023 at least, and it, 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 it would cost way too much money to port. So, but because my list off... Is interested in porting this game, then I could see it happening there, but we'll have to just wait and see. But let's go ahead and give it the chance of one score. Alright, so I give this game a 50% chance. It's going... Well, it could happen, but but like I said, Mala Soft has stated before in, in, in an interview that they wouldn't have the money to port it, even though they want to. It would cost way too much. Plus, it would take so much time because the game is, is a massive world. Like, like it might even be bigger than Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, even though both those games are already big. And, and yeah. But in and, and this game, and this game had an even more heavier focus on gameplay, so I guess it makes sense. But, but because, because a lot of fans want a Switch port, including me, in fact, I... In fact, this game comes to Switch, then I get to play it for the first time, of course, which would make me really happy. And we'll get to that in a second with the one score. And but but because you know it would be so expensive, but because money would be a problem, and, and the fact that it'd be so expensive to port, I don't really think it's too likely there. However, for my one score, one hundred percent. Like I said, I love Xenoblade Chronicles one and two, the first game. It's one, it's one of my favorite games of all time. The second one is also a great game. So I would definitely be happy to play... To be playing the... To, to play what is kind of the forgotten one out of, of, of them. 
and, 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 and I would definitely play it no matter what if it comes to Switch. All right, now let's go on to. All right, now next up is Star Fox Zero. Now just like with Xenoblade Chronicles X, I see this as a maybe because when this game was developed, well, a lot of the developers doesn't matter, but let me explain it. So the so the head designer of Platinum Games. Hideki Kamiya, um, I stated before that, that they're not sure about whether they want to port this or not. I, well, always, always I'm pretty sure they said that before. And, but the reason why I'm going to play this as a maybe is because it's more likely that we're probably going to get an original Star Fox for the Switch. I want to know if, if they want to port over Zero. And, and, and this game also had a bonus game like that, that was released like a bonus for those who bought it physically, and a Star Fox Guard. And that wouldn't even work on the Switch because it's all about the Game Pass. So that gets a 0% chance right there. But this, though, I can see as a maybe. I can also see as a 50-50 because, I mean, well, this game is pretty polarizing. So, uh, I personally thought it... it I, I personally thought the game was what well, was average. So I, I, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But, but you know... It's probably more likely that we're going to get an original Star Fox, and that's why I see this as a 50-50. And, 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 yeah, and, 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 but, but, it, but because the other Platinum games that were Wii U exclusive, like, like, like Bayonetta 2, that got ported to Switch, The Wonderful 101 got ported to Switch last year, because of that, I could see them doing this, but, you know, it's, it's more likely that we're going to get an original Star Fox on the Switch. If we get a new Star Fox, which, which I hope so. So, with all that said, we'll, we'll give it a score. A chance of one. So yeah, I see this as a 50% as, as a chance. Just like with Xenoblade Chronicles X. It could happen, but, but, but I'm pretty sure that the Platinum Games has said... Specifically with Hideki Kamiya stating that, that they're not sure about it. I, well, I'm pretty sure they said that, like, like I said before. And maybe, maybe it's going to happen, but you know, it's more likely that we're just going to get an original Star Fox on the Switch. For once, we're though, I'm also going to say 50%. No, like I said, a, a lot of people e e either liked or, 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 or just wasn't a fan of this game or thought it was okay. I thought it was average. I, I, I I can describe it as between okay and good. I give it probably a seven out of ten, but you know, but but I'm not sure how well, but, but I'm not sure how Star Fox Guard would be even possible on the Switch, and, and that really is as, as, as a little extra bonus with this game, and but but the, but the first person to go in the game pad that could be reworked. However, I don't I'm not sure like how that would work in this. So yeah, it was a big part of the game. So yeah, fifty percent chance and one score. All right. Next up is Wii Sports Club, and and do I see this happening? Uh, not too much. I mean, this is possible. However, how and, and especially with Metopia getting getting a remaster on the Switch, I could see it being more likely now. However, here's the thing. I'm not really sure if, if they want to do something with, with we in the name, so I feel like they're more likely to do a spiritual successor called Me Sports, and they make a completely new game and a spiritual successor called Me Sports. That's, uh, I guess, happening more, and, but, but I would like to see us get ported, yes. And, 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 and I would buy this for sure so yeah and so because of reasons i'm gonna say this is probably not too likely but you know well let's go give it a score but i do want to see it happening especially since they could get rid of the day pass they could they got better controls and yeah let's go give it a score so yeah, I give this a 30% chance. Could happen, but you know, I, I, I feel like they, they'd rather just do a spiritual successor. This was designed for the Wii U. 
they're, they're more likely just to do just to just do a new game similar and, and that, that's a, that's a spiritual successor. Yeah, thirty percent chance though. For one score, eighty percent. I only played uh, about. I mean, I, I think I I, I only pull, um play this like I, I, I once or twice because I got a free day pass back when I got my Wii U first and uh, back in twenty fifteen. But but they get rid of the day pass, have better online, and and, and, and if they have better controls and stuff. Even though the controls aren't too bad in Wii Sports Club, but you know they forced two Wii remotes and boxing. That was annoying, but especially for those like me who only had one Wii Motion Plus. So because of that, I would love to see it on the Switch. Eighty percent want score. And and very why it's not one hundred percent chance. Like like Xenoblade is because I mean. I mean, the Wii series games are good, and all me games are good, but, 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 but a lot of the Wii series games are kind of more like tech demos, but, but don't get me wrong, how would you like to see it? 80% chance. I, I mean, want. Alright, now next up is NES Remix Pack. <laughs> and, 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 and just like with with Star Fox and Xenoblade, I'm gonna say this one. Yeah, it's like with Xenoblade Chronicles X and Star Fox Zero. I'm gonna say this one's a maybe. Maybe it will. I'm gonna say that this could happen. However, here's the well, well, well yeah, it, yeah, I can describe it as a maybe. Now, the, the, why maybe? Well, here's the thing. I mean, I mean, there's a. Well, both these games were originally released as downloadable only titles before they later got ported to 3DS and, 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 and into a two pack physically on Wii U in, in late 2014. And. And. And, and another thing. I, I, I'm not sure if, if Nintendo would be interested in, the, in, the, in, in these and porting these or not. I'm, not. I'm not sure if Nintendo's interested in porting these or not, so I'm just going to put it as that. But let's look at a, a score. So yeah, I'm going to put that at a 50% chance. Maybe it'll happen, I'm not sure if Nintendo would still care about, about making an NES Remix port of both of these games that were released in a two-pack. But I'll be down to see it, and for one score, 80%. I mean, I really liked both of these games on the Wii U, and, and I don't think I ever played the 3DS version, but, but, but I would love to play these classic challenges of NES games. Again on the Switch and and please give us an SNES remix, Nintendo. All right, next game. All right, next up is Paper Mario Color Splash, and I can say I I I could see this as uh, I'm sorry, Cool Beans Cruise, for watching this, but it's not that likely. Why? Well, because. We had the Origami King almost, just almost a year ago. I mean, the game released in July 2020, so in the middle of 2020. So, so because of that, I don't think it's that like we're gonna get a new Paper Mario game or, or, or port of one of the previous five anytime soon. But the main reason why I don't think this is gonna happen is because I'm not sure how it would work on the Switch. You see, Color Splash takes. Well, Paper Mario Color Splash was Nintendo's second-to-last major Wii U game on the Switch, because, of course, Breath of the Wild was their last major Wii U game. And, and but, but all that aside, though, the, the, what's wrong with, 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 with the Switch port, and why wouldn't it work? Well, one reason would be because of the gamepad. The gamepad takes full use in this game, almost, as, as you use, it, you, you use the touchscreen mechanic a lot. For something cards... You do it with the gamepad, and you know, like swipe them when you're ready. And I'm not, and, and that could work on the Switch, but not sure exactly how. And yeah, and, and, and also these cutout spots, which just could work possibly, but you know, I let me know in the comments or for watching this during the premiere if you think, um, if you got an idea for how the controls would work. But I don't really see this being possible. Because, you know, the gamepad, 
and because the Origami King is too new to have in our Paper Mario on this way, it's more likely that we're going to get the Thousand Year Door HD if we get a new Paper Mario on the Switch. Which, which I really hope happens, because I love the Thousand Year Door. But, 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 but that, I don't think it is too likely either, but I hope. But this, I'm going to say that's a maybe. Well, or, or, well actually, no, not a maybe. I, I, I don't really think this is going to happen. But, but, but do I want it? Uh, maybe. But, 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 but find out. It's a chance of one score now. Alright, 20% chance. The gamepad, I'm not really sure how that would work, and the thing is that it's too new for for a Paper Mario game on the Switch. It just had a, a new and original one last year in the middle of 2020. For one score, though, 50%. I'm not a big fan of Color Splash, but that was okay. It's, it's definitely better than Sticker Star, which was terrible. But Paper Mario Color Splash, uh, maybe. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I probably would buy it on the Switch, but you know, but because I wasn't really a big fan of it, I don't think I, 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 I want it more than others. But, but I wouldn't be mad at that one. Maybe I'd buy one, but maybe I'd buy it on the Switch, which I probably would. But you know, so yeah, fifty percent. Next up is. Alright, now next up is Yoshi's Woolly World, and I, I, I'm going to say this one is, I'm going to say it, 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 it's, it's decently likely. It, it's the most likely no, but I do think it is it, it is somewhat likely. And, and I'd say the chances of it happening are average. It's possible we could get it, but, and, 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 and this year would be the time, because it's already been two years, since Crafted World, and, and because Crafted World is now two years old, and, and that game is, is very similar to this one, I could see them porting this there, but not, but not really exactly sure, but you know. And I could, but, but, but I do think that this is somewhat likely, because, well, here's the thing. I mean, I mean, it was one of, uh, 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 well, uh, 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 I don't know what else to say, but, but this game has, I mean, this game would, would, would honestly get a lot of people hyped for those who played, and, 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 for, ever, and, and for those who didn't play either the Wii or the 3DS version, or if, or if, they, they, they played them, but want new content and stuff. And, and those would be hyped. I can see Nintendo um, having them there. And, and, and here's the thing. And, and here's the thing. I, I mean, it's only been two years since Crafted World, so they could make this now. And, 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 and it's one of the few big... Well, well, the game does have a 3DS version, at least a month before the Switch... But you know, but but, be, but because 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 it released a month before the Switch, when everyone got to try the new content and stuff, and including me, I mean, I mean, I played this the whole way through on the Wii U, but I never played the 3DS version. I would definitely buy this on Switch for sixty dollars. But let's go ahead and give it a score. So yeah, I can see this as a seventy percent chance. Maybe it'll happen. Well, 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 actually, it's decently likely. I'm not sure if this is going to happen like this year or next year or not, but I think it could happen at some point. For one score, 100%. I love Yoshi's Woolly World. I liked Crafted World more, but I would still would definitely play this, especially since I, I, I played it on the Wii U the whole way through. I didn't really pick it up on the 3DS for some reason. So because I never played the 3DS version, I, I would totally... Buy for the new content and stuff. But now let's go on to... Alright, the, the next up is actually two games. That, I'm playing footage for The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, but I'm also going to include Twilight Princess HD here, too. And, and, and I, I personally think these are very likely. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen this year, because we already have Skyward Sword HD coming. But I think this is going to happen in either 2022 or 2023. That'd be part of time, because... Bigger than that time, the 20th anniversary 
of, of, of The Wind Waker happens in December 2002. And, yeah. But let's go ahead and... I think it's going to happen, too, because, you know, it's still this 25th... I mean, 35th anniversary, so it could be announced this year and, and then released next year, but you'll have to wait and see. Let's go and give it a chance on one score. Alright, so I give both of these games a chance to score over 90%. I can definitely see these happening because, well, Breath of the Wild released on both Wii U and Switch and uh, simultaneously, and Hyrule Warriors was originally a Wii U game, and then it got forward to 3DS, and then to Switch. So because we've already gotten those two, which were also Zelda Wii U games, I can definitely see both of these coming. And... And, and they would probably sell pretty well too, and and, and with a Skyward Sword HD coming, it could also make these more likely. For one score, one hundred percent. I love both these two games a lot, so I would love to have them on the Switch, and be able to play them portably for the first time. That's it for this video, though. I will s wait. Scratch that. <laughs> I, I, exactly, is at the end. I guess this isn't the end, but the next three games are ones that I'm going to be talking about only briefly, because they're not ones I want to go in depth about. Alright, now the next one I do not want to go in depth about, and, and, and this next one is a game I hate, so I don't, so, so I don't even want to talk about it, but yeah, 10% of this one, it's not that likely, people hated this one, it was terrible, and yeah. For one score, zero percent. I hate this game right here, so so I do not want it ported to the Switch at all. Maybe if it was included in a free update for New Horizons, sure, but not if it was a standalone package. No. All right, and then there's Kirby the Rainbow Curse. This one just wouldn't work on the Switch because here's the thing: the game's about the Wii U gamepad. You use the stylus on the Wii U gamepad. Uh, 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 to guide Kirby and stuff, and that wouldn't work because it's about touch controls. Touch controls, while it does exist on the Switch, it only exists in handheld mode, so it wouldn't work. For one score, though, 60%. I never played Kirby the Rainbow Curse, but maybe I check it out if it's on the Switch and stuff. But, yeah. They're not, they're not really sure how it would work on the Switch, so yeah. Alright, the last one I don't see happening is Nintendo Link. I'm sorry, but this is not going to happen. The reason why is because the game is all about the gamepad. And sure, Nintendo could make some phone app or whatever um, uh, um, to on this, but wouldn't work either. And they wouldn't do that. And, and, and I just don't see this happening. So yeah, 0%. For once, we're the 50%. I really like this game back on the Wii U, however, I'm not sure how it would work without the gamepad. The game probably just wouldn't really work without the gamepad, which is why it's not going to happen. And with those, that's this this video. I will see you guys next time. Agent S out.